Ajá. Así es, amigos, y bueno, así hasta que salga el sol, pero bueno, yo no voy a esperar hasta que salga el sol, sino que yo me voy a seguir acomodando porque qué barbaridad todo lo que conversamos con Francisco, pero bueno, los niños son seis niños que están en este libro, que ustedes lo pueden ya comprar eh, directamente eh, con ellos, también va a haber una, un lanzamiento que ustedes pueden ir y apoyar a los niños escritores, y más a ratito le voy a decir a Erika que me dé los datos sobre eso, el libro se llama La Nueva Generación a Prueba de Fuego y es creado por Erika Rojas con la integración de seis niños, los primeros seis niños que entran en esta, en esta edición y la verdad que estoy conociéndolos a parte de ellos porque son seis, pero hoy nada más tengo a Sofía, tengo a Francisco que estábamos hablando, eh, tengo también a, a Siri García y tengo a Richa, eh, Rich, Rica. Rica. Rica, perdón Rica, ya te estoy cambiando de nombre, bueno, pero poquito a poco te voy conociendo, okay. poquito a poco te voy conociendo, y entonces eh, ellos hablan en este libro, eh, hablan sobre cosas interesantes, cosas que eh, posiblemente les pasaron en la escuela, como estábamos oyendo a Francisco, que ayer estuvo de cumpleaños y nos habló eh, de muchas cosas y de todos sus proyectos y que ya próximamente hará otro libro y sobre él habla en este libro sobre el bullying y ojalá y puedas leer todo el libro porque hoy no, no lo leímos, solamente platicamos un poquito con Francisco pero eh, el libro es muy interesante, es un niño de 8 años que sufre bullying y no es el primero y no será el único ni será el último lamentablemente el bullying es un problema que sufrimos frecuentemente y no solamente los niños, lo sufren los adultos eh, el, en el trabajo, los adultos de eh, la tercera edad eh, lo sufrimos como mujeres, eh, lo, lo sufrimos de diferentes maneras hay muchas personas lastimadas emocionalmente que creen que haciéndole la, eh, daño a alguien más van a poder eh, liberar toda esa tensión que tienen en su corazón y entonces eh, este libro está, habla de diferentes temas y entonces eso me gustó muchísimo Sofi, how you doing today? ¿Cómo estás? Bien Bien, bien, eh, hablas poquito español me dijeron, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿Eh? Un poquito, acércate un poquito más el micrófono. O sea, eh, you can speak louder. Yeah. Agarra un poquito más. Hey. Okay. Hablas poquito español. Sí. ¿Sí? Pero eh, vamos a estar bien, ¿ok? No te preocupes. Sophie, eh, ¿de qué habla, eh, hablas en este libro? Tú has participado ya eh, en otros proyectos. Eh, tu mamá es una escritora, tu mamá ha hecho diferentes proyectos. Eh, pero cuéntame, eh, ¿cuál fue tu experiencia en este libro? ¿Y de qué hablas en el libro? Este, una um, squirrel y una niña que um, they became friends in the book in the woods um, and the tribe was called um, Kawia and um, they became friends in the tribe y eh, este es algo que viviste eh, que lo, lo tuviste lo pudiste ver esto o es algo que nació de tu mente Yeah, this is something that you experienced by yourself or in yourself or is something that it just came out to, you, to your mind? Um, it was something that just came out to my mind. And so that gave me an idea that you want to do like books, this kind of books, yeah? Uh, let me know. Uh, so how is this story in, you, in, in this book about the las ardillita? Cuéntame. Yeah. Talk to me about the uh, what she does. You know. What she does in the book. Uh huh. Um, in the book, um, she um she finds a friend and she sees a squirrel that um falls in a bush when she was playing kickball with her friends. Kickball is a game with um it you play it in the, in school and she hit a squirrel and then the squirrel um got hurt so she picked it up and then she immediately became friends with the squirrel and and yeah and uh, do you uh, this squirrel uh, it has something related with you or related to a friend uh, because you know sometimes when we're writing about something or uh, it's something that we have in our mind or we we feel like kind of like that mm -hmm. is that um, no 
it was something in my mind that I wanted to come up with, and I thought it was, at first I thought it wasn't a cool story, like nobody would read it, but, and then when I started writing it, I felt that it was a good story. So then I showed it to my mom and she liked it. And, um, have you ever, uh, uh write something about something else, or this is the first time? Um, I wrote a book called The Girl Who Never Brushed Her Teeth. Cool, yeah, uh, talk to me about that one. So it's about a girl who didn't like to brush her teeth, and um, um, in the end of the book, there's a consequence, and she um, goes to the dentist, and something bad happens. So that's why you should brush your teeth because bad things will happen. To you. Uh, that's very really good. And um, how do you feel that this is your second experience uh, writing a book? How was your experience working with another? Uh, boys and girls doing uh, their, uh, you know, having their uh, first experience uh, writing a book? Um, I'm, so, I'm trying to say it in like Spanish, but I can't really say it. That's okay. But, um, if, if you want to write a book, then you should do it because it will get you very far in your life. And when I was a little kid, I always loved to read, write, and things that um, included that. Um, and when I was a kid, I always wanted to be a writer like my mom because I saw her write every day and it, it really inspired me. So when I was um, nine years old, I wrote a book and I showed it, I, I wrote it on scratch paper and I showed it to my mom and she was so impressed with me. And then we made it into a book and that I was very proud of myself that day. And we are so proud of you too because mm -hmm. you're great, you know. Not only writing a book and just uh, also speaking out on public because I, I know that you do it, you know. And um, you're from Peru also, right? Sí. Okay. ¿Hace cuánto veniste? Um, I'm from here, but my mom was born in Peru. In Peru. Yes. Yeah. ¿Has ido a Peru? What? Have you yes. traveled to Peru? Yes, I've been to Peru many times and my family lives there and I love going to Peru because I love the food like ceviche and um, all the foods there are delicious. I love going there to see my family. So you have this, uh, your next experience is in the new book and it's going to be maybe like Francisco was talking, he wants to do a book by himself. Well, he wants to invite somebody else to do the book with him about bullying. Uh, in your case, what kind of book are you going to write next? Um, so I already have a story planned at my home. Um, I, it's called The Boy Who Never Had Manners. How is that? What? What kind of book is that? It's it's a boy, um, I haven't wrote it all, but it's a boy who never had manners and he always was rude to his parents. Yeah, do you know any boy like that? Um, well, it was inspired <laughs> by my dad. <laughs> This is by your dad. Okay. Yeah. And um, so you're gonna do it by yourself or you're gonna do it with somebody else like Francisco wants to do? Um, I was thinking of doing it by myself. That's really good. So after uh, what do you wanna be uh when you grow? You know? Um, I wanna be um a doctor for kids, a pediatrician. Great. You know, I was studying medicine in my country. But yeah, I love medicine, you know, I was studying medicine I did some kind of medicine, I like it. And uh, I hope you get, you can make it, Thank you know? You. And I'll be so proud of you, you know? And so, what do you want to say to your mom? Because your mom is that everything. And I know her, uh, you know, and she inspire a lot of people. And I know she inspire you. Do you have something to yes. say to them? I just want to say thank you for um, everything you've done for me in the past. And you made my dream come true when I was a little kid, and I love you so much because you're the best mom ever. Yeah! <laughs> is it? Is it really good? Do you have any advice for another kid who wants to try to write a book? Yes. Um, well, I, I said it, but um, you should um, never stop your dreams, and you should always keep going forward. Yeah, that's really good. Well, thank you so much, Sophia, and I'll be here waiting for you with your next book, okay? And uh, so I, I want to know how, as soon as you have the book, give me a call, okay, Erika? And, uh, and I, wanna, I want Sophia right here. We're going to read the book for everybody. You know, I have a radio for kids, and uh, maybe we can do something later on. 
because um, one of my ideas is to have is to have kids to do uh, you know a lot of small children they don't have anybody who can help them to do their homework so maybe we could do it through the radio you know it's a good idea and uh, you can start the you know the project like that because everybody goes to different uh, race right so you can start helping some other children to do the homework I, I know a lot of them you know they don't have their mom and dad at home so they need help so we're going to talk about it. i like that okay so um para los que están eh, se acaban de sintonizar estábamos ahí bueno yo estoy practicando mi inglés eh, acá con sofía eh, pero you did great i, I try I, i try my best okay <laughs> Eh, pero estamos bien acá, estamos trabajando, eh, estamos eh, disfrutando una tardecita con eh, cuatro de los niños que son parte de este libro que se llama The New Generation a Prueba de Fuego, eh, que es, habla sobre historias de niños eh, haciendo cosas de niños eh, en la edad de ellos, pero eh, avanzando en su vida, haciendo, eh, siendo, convirtiéndose en ejemplo para muchos niños. Así que vamos a hacer una pequeña pausa y luego entramos con Atsiri García. ¿Cómo estás Atsiri? ¿Ya estás lista para platicar conmigo? ¿Verdad que sí? Bueno, Atsiri es, eh, yo creo que la niña ma, eh, la más grande de, de, de todos los que están participando en este libro y, y bueno, es hija de, uno, eh, de una amiga muy querida eh, de Guatemala y entonces vamos a hablar con ella en un momentito. Hacemos una pequeña pausa y continuamos. Eh, el micrófono creo que este de cable está poniendo. 